Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is profit and loss and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 16 and verse 26. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, wealth, fame, success, but forfeits his soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? Today's scripture isn't what I would have ordinarily chosen as a salvation episode. But as I silently asked the Lord for what he wanted to say, I heard this scripture in my spirit. I've learned to move with the agenda of the Father. So today, my dear listeners, the Lord is speaking to us in transactionary terms. Of what profit is it if a man gains the whole world, wealth, fame, success and the likes, but forfeits or loses his soul? In other words, God God is saying that wealth, fame, and success are not bad in the strict sense of things. But if you pursue all these to the detriment of your soul, then you have lost all. Question, how can one soul be forfeited or lost? I'll tell you as briefly as I can. If you read Romans 3.23 and Ezekiel 18.20 together, you will realize that every man or woman ever born had a death sentence hanging over their head. After the sin of the very first man, Adam, mankind was tainted with sin. The spiritual penalty for sin was and still is death. So all men were appointed to die immediately they were born. Then, by a master stroke of divine love and redemption, God sent Jesus, who by the way was and is God, to be born of a woman. Naturally, being God, he was born without that stain of sin that was common to humanity. Jesus voluntarily accepted to die the death of a sinner. He, in essence, decided to bear the penalty for all men so that men no longer had to die spiritually. So he came, walked the earth and died on the cross. He who had no sin died a sinner's death so he could pay the penalty for you and for me. How does all of this relate to forfeiting your soul? Very good question. After Jesus paid the price, the father was happy. He accepted the sacrifice, but gave a condition. The price Jesus paid will only be imputed to a person's account if and only if they accept and believe in Jesus as Savior and Lord. Very important, not just Savior from sin, but also Lord. Anyone who does not do this on the father's terms, has chosen to forego the opportunity to have his soul excluded from the penalty of death. So if you are successful in everything, in business, in academics, in whatever industry you find yourself, and even if the world applauds you and puts your name on every list of achievers there are and gives you so many titles and accolades, if you have not accepted Jesus, you are forfeiting your soul. You are accepting the death sentence and you have lost everything. Today is the day of salvation, not tomorrow. Please, I urge you, accept Jesus as your Savior and begin this glorious journey of life. Please say this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, today I now believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sin and that you raised him up from the dead. I confess that he is Lord of my life now and forever. Please receive all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed or if you prayed that prayer with me, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.